Neymar Jr. isn't quite intimidating physically, but the players who dare to fight him end up regretting it. Who were those players? How Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar went head to head in a boxing ring for a commercial in 2019 still remains a mystery to me. Turns out that they were doing an ad campaign for a Portuguese telecommunication company called MEO. It all seems strange, but things got interesting when fans asked who would win the bout if it were actually real. Many backed Cristiano because of his superior height and physique, while a few backed Neymar for the W. The ad started with the interviewer asking a random person how he'd want an ad featuring Ronaldo and Neymar to be made. The guy replied, they're boxing. The pair then got into the ring in the 49 second ad as people added to their imaginations what it would turn out to be. One lady imagined Neymar suddenly breaking into a dance, while another person suggested that the footballers will wear luchador masks. Other versions saw Ronaldo and Neymar are seen playing table tennis with chopsticks. What do you make of the commercial? Anyway, let's get a little more serious. You see, back in the summer of 2017, Neymar's move to Paris Saint-Germain was edging closer. The Brazilian was with the rest of his teammates as they prepared for an El Clasico friendly during the preseason tour at Barry University in Miami. Neymar was in fine form already, scoring three goals in two games. Things appeared to be going well half an hour into their small-sided game until Neymar and new boy Semedo, who had just joined the club, tangled during a challenge for the ball. While running back, Semedo's arm ran around Neymar's neck and the pair were all over each other, after which they squared up face to face. Neymar immediately squared up to the right back from Portugal. Javier Mascherano quickly intervened in the situation and Semedo ran back to the game, but Neymar wasn't done just yet. He gestured after the defender and this time, he had to be restrained by Sergio Busquets. As if that weren't enough, the infuriated Neymar tore off his training bib and threw it to the ground. Manager Ernesto Valverde stood helplessly while watching the whole scenario play out. Neymar then refused to continue the training, having already fired a ball off the crossbar and another one away. He left the training field. A member of the Barcelona staff accompanied him on his way out. Neymar later confirmed that he would not be traveling back to Spain with his teammates after the Miami Clasico. Fans were divided on the scuffle, with some believing Neymar had the right to be angry for being on the receiving end of what he considered a bad tackle. However, many fans were pissed off that he overreacted, but Semedo wasn't the only teammate to have clashed with the Brazilian attacker. We could argue that Neymar's ego inflated alongside his price tag, because upon his arrival at the French capital, he immediately picked up fights with the previous season's top scorer, Edinson Cavani, over a penalty. Cavani was hearing none of it and insisted on taking it, but the Uruguayan ended up missing from 12 yards. Wait a minute, how do we get here? You see, PSG were having an outstanding season, thanks to the form of both players, but during the second half of the encounter with Olympique Lyon at the Parc des Princes. The hosts were leading 1-0 and they now had the opportunity to extend their lead with the spot kick after Kylian Mbappe was fouled. Cavani was already the team's penalty taker, but Neymar wanted that for himself. The Uruguayan refused, but then missed. Earlier in the match, Dani Alves hit the ball from Cavani and handed it over to Neymar when PSG had a free kick in the 57th minute. A series of events followed after PSG's 2-0 win over Lyon. It was also rumored that Neymar and Cavani had to be kept apart by their captain Thiago Silva in the dressing room. Neymar unfollowed Cavani on Instagram and Cavani later came out in an attempt to patch things up, saying that he and Neymar had spoken about the situation and that it wasn't a big deal, but the damage had already been done. Pretty much seems like the entire incident could have been avoided if the manager Unai Emery made the decision ahead of time. Cavani wasn't the only player that Neymar had issues with while at PSG. Kylian Mbappe and Neymar arrived in the French capital in 2017 after much hype. Mbappe initially saw Neymar as sort of an elder brother and the pair seemed notoriously perfect together. However, they began to clash from time to time but still maintain a cordial relationship. Unfortunately, their relationship nosedived in 2022 and resorted to a cold war in the dressing room. One time when he was asked about his relationship with Mbappe, Neymar simply said, I don't before turning his face away and refusing to answer any questions. What really broke the camel's back was when PSG considered selling the Brazilian. Neymar believed that Mbappe was behind the move and was actively trying to force him out of the club. Their relationship then deteriorated to the extent that they began to argue over taking a penalty in PSG's match against Montpellier. Sergio Ramos then had to step in and separate the two stars in the dressing room after the match. Neymar then insinuated on Twitter that Mbappe owned PSG and that the Frenchman had a clause in his contract, which probably made him the primary penalty taker, and went on to like social media posts slamming Mbappe for missing a penalty. Mbappe has insisted that he has a lot of respect for Neymar, but the controversies and scandals just seem unending in Neymar's life. 
Amid his uncertainties about the future of his career, at PSG at the time, the word on the street was that Neymar got into an altercation at a nightclub in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The reason behind the heated confrontation was unknown. All these happen at a time when there was also rumors of an infidelity by Neymar with his partner, Bruna Bencardi. Neymar was said to be attending a concert by Brazilian artist, Tiaguino, before getting into an argument at the concert. There was some shouting and shoving before the nightclub security intervened. Again, this happened weeks after Neymar got into trouble with the local council of Mangaratiba, one of the coastal towns in Brazil. He had constructed an artificial lake at his mansion without consulting the authorities. This led to a $3.3 million fine. Another player who dared defy Neymar was Marseille's Alvaro Gonzalez. The former Paris Saint-Germain star received a straight red card for punching Gonzalez in the back of the head as Marseille defeated PSG 1-0 back in September 2020 during a crunch match that saw five players see red. As he left the pitch, Neymar complained to the fourth official that his actions were prompted by racist language from Gonzalez. The Brazilian then explained that Gonzalez called him a monkey and that he regretted not punching him in the face. Gonzalez, however, took to social media to defend himself, denying being racist and insinuating that Neymar was a sore loser. But how about this next player? During match day 31 of the 2020 and 21 season, PSG fell to a 1-0 defeat against league leaders Lille, trailing them by three points. During the feisty encounter, Neymar was shown a red card after shoving Lille center back Thiago Jalo. Mbappe and Neymar had been guilty of missing clear-cut chances throughout the entire match and just simply couldn't hide their frustrations. After a rough challenge on Neymar, during the last few minutes of the game, the Brazilian retaliated furiously and lunged in with a rash tackle. He was subsequently shown a second yellow card. Jalo was also sent off for this overreaction and foul mouth rants to the Brazilian's anger, but it just didn't end there. After the match, the pair went down the tunnel and had to be held back from fighting. Neymar then took a swipe at Jalo once an official had gotten between the two of them. Jalo then proceeded to knock one of the men who tried to restrain him as he sought to retaliate as they both engaged in a heated war of words as Neymar was then scurried away before being banned for two straight games. But it was PSG who would then suffer a severe blow to their title hopes in the end. Neymar's talents might be undeniable, but more often than not, he has hit the headlines for all of the wrong reasons. Though having recently completed a 90 million euro transfer to the Saudi Pro League club Al Halal on a two-year contract, we'll be hoping for more magic and less drama.